I am finished my seam for the haunted hospital and it's part of the blender challenge and I thought I would just walk you through uh, what I've done because I did jump ahead I think I left off modeling the bed and then uh, I just said you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna work on this until it's done because there wasn't really much else to show you um, that I hadn't done before or haven't done before in other videos so uh, I'm going to show you some final renders uh, in a bit, but for the moment, uh, here's here's what I've got. All right, um, as you can see, the scene is a little, a little bit busy. I've got a bunch of lights in here. I organized my hier hierarchy here so everything is alphabetical and capitalized so I can find it uh, easily and I can turn things on or off so I can hide all my lights or there's nothing special to any of the texturing that I've done I've done some of it in substance painter and I showed some of that and I've done some of it in blender so for example uh, if we come over here to this piece here um, and the, the materials I've got beams and I've used that uh, repeatedly basically what I did I'll go into the shading editor um, and I'm going to maximize this and show you um, what I've just got is I UV unwrap this so it goes from a texture coordinate to a mapping node and I may have adjusted some angles whatever I've got an image many of them come from textures.com but they're from all around I've got a color ramp and then I decided okay I want to add some grunge to that or whatever and uh, some other some other things so the way that I I put it together was um, some of these have you know uh, other values so that's why I didn't just use one mapping uh, node but I've got three images here all right sent through color ramps that I've adjusted and the way I've mixed them is using a um, a mix RGB just shift a color mix RGB I put that down and I just I experimented and I found that I wanted add and I would just connect one and connect the other maybe adjust the fact if need be so there's two of them and then for the third one I brought it in here another image and I put that together and brought it into the base color and I, just, I may, may, may or may not have made some adjustments uh, to there so that's kind of how I mixed things together um, I've got some blood spatters that I'm going to show you here let's say if I just focus on that and I come to this you can see that one or maybe I'll look at a different one one on the wall so these were just brought in as images as planes let's try that one all right and the way that I made these transparent was so what I did is I went into substance painter I just had a plane now I may have scaled some of these or cut off pieces I didn't need but basically I just had a had a UV un, uh, UV mapped plane UV unwrapped whatever and I just used Substance Painter to put some blobs and whatever I wanted on there. And then to get them transparent, this was what I found worked for me. Okay. UV, because it's UV unwrapped to the mapping. Didn't make any changes here. This is the texture I made in Substance Painter. The blood splatter thing. And I connected them like this. I've got a color ramp here. Now, it was important how I position these in order to get the proper uh, transparency on my so the plane itself was transparent and the blood would show up uh, nicely transparent uh, shader here going into a mix shader in the top spot and a diffuse here going into the bottom and I did that for all of the blood splatters that I have here so and some of them I reused so let's see if I can find another one Let's just take that. You see, now they're shrink wrapped to the wall. So let's have a, just have a look at that one. And they're all very similar. All right. Again, the exact same thing. So what I would do is I would, I would copy this, bring in images as plain, and then paste it on as the material, or as the uh, the notes for that. So I did those. I uh, I did uh, some blood there. Let's see if I can get this piece here. There's a there's a uh, a poster here, you know, just an image that I found. I don't even know if it's relevant in any way. Um, it probably is. Some of them are shipping labels or whatever. Uh, those were just images as planes. When you bring that in, you get this setup. You know, with the it's a PNG 
with the alpha going into here. It does that automatically, Blender does that. And then I may have adjusted this a little bit. Um, so I got that. Um, yeah, various blood splatters on the floor. Let's let's have a look at what that is. is that a blood splatter? Yeah, big one on the floor. I think I repeated that on the wall. Okay, so once again with the same kind of node setup that I showed you a minute ago on that one. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, so, so far so good. Um, for the textures, you're going to see... Um, let's see if I can get the wall here. Well, yeah, the wall. Uh, you can see I've got walls and walls bottom. I have two different parts there. If we just focus on that, you'll see quite a bit of what I've done here. Um, I've got some tiles down here. All right, this was just an image that I, I found uh, on the internet. And I've got some other stuff on here, here just for the tiles. Let's just have a look at that. Straightforward, right? Just a UV mapped it or unwrapped it again. I have this marble floor tiles that I found and I set up a color ramp in the way that I liked it. Brought that in, adjusted the roughness and, and I got that. For the walls themselves, let's have a look at that. Uh, I have a similar situation to uh, how I did uh, some of the other stuff with the mixing. Very similar. In fact, I probably copied it and then and made adjustments. I've got um, a paint um, image and I've got some grunge. And I said, okay, I want to mix the paint and the grunge. All right, the paint was fine on its own. I so said, I'm going to add a color ramp. I'm going to play with that till I get what I like. And I'm going to mix them together. It's a mix RGB. And then I said, I want some more on there. I'm going to try adding the wallpaper. Now, I experimented with this on and off. So let me have a look at just the walls. We'll do this. All right. And I experimented with this being on and off. There's my paint. You've probably seen that image before. And I said, do I want it on? Do I want it off? So I did that. Um, there's a few more things that I, I did and added. And obviously I, I um, broke this apart. A couple of pieces of stuff here and there. I bent stuff and I warped stuff and just positioned it around. I copied the electrical outlet to the other side. Blood splatters on the wall, some posters. The door opened up. Uh, down here, there's a sign that says psychiatry and my lighting. So I think that's basically what I wanted to show you. Uh, again, just a mixture of Substance Painter and Blender. Um, and so uh, I will show you some renders. So here's the history of the series um, and what I've done. Part one was my intro video where I talked, mostly talked about it, I guess. Part two, I did the block out of it. I started blocking it out anyhow. In part three, I did the, the doorway. In part four, uh, I showed you a little bit of an, uh, of an update of, of modeling. All right, I guess I had done the cart at that point and some of the electrical and some of the other things. Uh, in part five, I modeled the hospital bed and I think I had considered a blanket, but I decided in the end I wasn't going to use it and you'll see. In part six, we textured uh, the, those main doors, these doors here, uh, in Substance Painter. In part seven, I did the arch of the doorway as well in Substance Painter. And in part eight, I did the arched windows uh, in Substance Painter. And then from there on, I just I did the bed and I just I did the wall texture, I did the floor texture because I knew I, I needed to get the walls and the floor in really. I should have probably had them earlier on. That may have affected how I modeled and how I textured, but that's the way I did it. So uh, that leads us to where we're at right now. So here's what I got. All right, so we've got the main doors down here. We got psychiatry up here. I've done a little bit of a, of a ceiling. Um, I wanted this faded wallpaper instead of something bright. I didn't want to just leave it uh, with, with the, the peeling paint. I, I, I felt it needed a little bit of color and a little bit of design so that it wasn't so monotonous. Although I wanted it kind of monotonous. Um, 
so anyways I've got the arch doorway down here I've got what maybe looks like a hallway um, going off to the side there is plenty of blood some of these are repeated scaled rotated stretched some there's about four or five unique ones and some are are um, all around here um, here and there whatever I've got the most uh, right here coming out with the door open uh, it's black in behind so you can't see what's going on that's the way I wanted it I do have some light coming in here I've got a spotlight back here and I've got a spotlight here coming through and giving little bits of of light on the wall and on the floor I've got some debris here but as you can see these these are the pieces of wood uh, that I did basically in blender okay so I would have an image of the wood that I wanted and I uh, would unwrap and then I would position the pieces on the UV map where I wanted them so that I could get some variation in the wood just by moving the UVs, the UV islands essentially around. And then I said, okay, I want a paint layer on there. I brought that in as another um, image and I added it to this. And there's also, I think there's three on, on, on there. Um, so you can see the, the tile that I wanted. You can see the tile on the floor that I wanted and the wallpaper and the paint. You see the electrical here. I didn't really do too much to that to grunge it up. I got a couple of posters that you hopefully can't really read uh, on there. Uh, my arched windows, of course. My trim, I did that in Blender. And I did this bottom uh, set of tiles in Blender. And some broken things here and I bent the bed up. Uh, I decided just to go with the wireframe modifier on, on the, the bed here. I did bring all of this in the Substance Painter so there is some grunge on there there's some rust on there even if it's not visible it uh, affects I guess how the light hits it this is rendered in EV by the way and you may even be able to tell because of the, the way the shadows are um, I'm fine with that I just put some black dots here to represent nails hopefully you wouldn't look too closely at that I'll show you another couple of images just from different vantage points um, yeah so that's there you can you might be able to see a little bit more and i did want some what, what what looked like maybe moonlight or maybe security lights uh coming in here i didn't want the scene too dark um i just basically wanted it like this all right um i may have left uh, a light out here that that reflects in the glass a little bit i had a light over here or i think maybe yeah, I had, I had some other light, and I, if you change the specular, you can uh, you can get it so that it doesn't reflect in there. I mentioned that, I think, in a previous video. But here you can see, you know, in the wood, I mean, this is not sculpted or anything like that. It would make it look better, but I did move these pieces of wood around so that the paint would, would lie at different spots in the grunge and the dirt, whatever. So um, that's basically how I did that, and I just bent things. And sometimes they're they go into the floor or they're hovering above the floor and of course Eevee doesn't necessarily do the shadows as well as as well as as cycles but uh it, it looks good enough you know to my eye all right here's one more shot there's not really too much to to see um yeah that's that's basically it. i could spend more time with light like for example why is there why is this area so bright and that's not where the spotlight's coming through there but you know, uh, <laughs> these are, you, think, you can take forever. But anyways, that's my uh, my haunted hospital. And uh, that was that was a lot of fun. And I, I did some things different than I usually do. Um, it was mentioned uh, on the Discord <laughs> that many of my uh, challenges and models are, you know, the sci-fi stuff and the horror stuff, you know, it's like, well, you know, are there any happy themes? And so, yes, I will try to do something that is uh, that is a little bit more pleasant. I don't know that I would uh, do lots more with blood, but uh, I did learn some things and I had some fun. So I imagine there's going to be a little bit more of that. If not red blood, maybe green alien blood or something. But I do have plans for other things to, uh, to do. And uh, for those of you who have decided that you do want to be part of the challenge, um, and I encourage anyone who would like to, to post your whips and then your final renders eventually. These will be my, fi my final renders unless I go back and do some stuff. Um, you can do that on the Zero Bio Discord. You can post your whips. You can post your final renders. I would like to have a deadline of, I believe it's Sunday, January the 1st. 
all right that gives about a week and a half to finish this up uh, over the holidays I know it can be a busy time and if we don't get too many people in the challenge uh, that's totally okay I mean it's up to you if you have the time or don't have the time and I'll make a render review even if we have two or three of them or whatever just for fun and uh, we can do other challenges uh, in the coming uh, years I mean I could have done this and I started to do this just as a series uh, f for myself to do for you and uh, people wanted to do it as a challenge and and sometimes people say yeah I want to do it as a challenge but then they get busy or uh, you know or they hit a roadblock or they can't make the deadline uh, and that's that's understandable so if you'd like to be part of the challenge and post your stuff and have it featured uh, here on the channel in a render review then uh, go to the zero bio discord post your whips and final renders by uh, January the 1st and I will do a render review early in the new year and otherwise please keep coming back to the channel and uh, uh, watching my videos and liking them I hope you like them leave me some comments subscribe to the channel and just uh, help help us grow because uh, I'm, I'm gonna tell you that uh, the way my philosophy for the channel and the way that this whole thing got started was uh, yeah I mean well the way it got started was uh, basically my daughter was born and I started modeling crayons pencils and baby bottles if you go back uh, that's what I did but it's it's because I didn't find what I wanted in other channels. Now, there are many excellent, excellent channels and, and much more advanced blender people than me. Uh, that's not my role. <laughs> um, but I mean, I, um, I saw a lot of time lapses and those are cool, but I wanted to learn something and I wasn't really learning uh, from those. And I wanted to see people do scenes or at least complete models, if not a scene like a sci-fi scene or some little science lab from start to finish I want to see everything and those take a lot of work and a lot of time and anybody who's pretty good at blender not like myself uh, probably are doing other things you know they, they have jobs or they're in the industry or or whatever or they're selling their stuff and they're not going to do that and so I said I want to do that and so with my limited skills I set out to uh, do full video tutorials now I know I left you high and dry on this I mean I skipped some stuff but in, in general and that's my philosophy um, as good as I might or might not be in blender or substance painter I wanted to do for the most part the whole thing because that's not what I was seeing elsewhere and that's what I'm hoping to provide here for relative beginners I'll always say that so that there's not too much pressure on me or anybody else uh, I'm not blender guru as you know I'm just uh, doing doing my thing and if you if you like that kind of thing if you want to see somebody do it pretty much from beginning to end and uh, then that's 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 what this channel is so if you like that subscribe to the channel keep keep on coming back if you have some suggestions go ahead just keep it simple okay I'm a simple guy I'm a busy guy and uh, I'll do what I can for you all right thanks so much for watching thanks for coming to the channel everybody have a good holiday season stay safe stay happy stay inspired and uh you know let's have a let's have a great new year's too take care